Hi, I'm Rich Bachelor. I'm Mark Major. It's time for number 13. Which is the saddest of all episodes we've ever done. And the loneliest number. Yes. And uh, we are going to be delving into the realms of the sensual and erotic. The story of, oh, you know what I'm talking about. As you note, if those lips belong to a dude. <laughs> yeah. On the cover of uh, English Muffins by the Mystic Moods Orchestra. The Mystic Moods show up often in this uh, series because almost all of their album covers are incredible. And They own this week. They own this they week. They own this week. I was wondering who I needed to send my check to. That's all I got to say about the first cover. So let's move on to yeah, sure. the, the Mystic, Mystic Moods Orchestra. Think love th- Token. There. <laughs> How many times have you left the Love Token behind? <laughs> well, I think I, I like to refer to it as psychic warfare, but uh, yeah. It is said that you can change the entire mood of a house by leaving a Love Token, you know, hidden somewhere in a room. Looks like all these people are doing some sort of uh, naked twister thing. It's like... I can't see from here. Is that three different shots? Of it's three different shots of the same couple. That's kind of what I thought. And But the man is totally gay, I can tell. I, America sort of collectively went gay in the 70s. I don't know if you've heard that, but it's true. It feels like it if you watch Three's Company. It's a Jim Webb collage and hurts so bad. I know, I know the song hurts so bad. What in the living hell is a Jim Webb collage? I don't know. It sounds expensive, though. Uh, yeah, both sides now. That's a song. Traces. That's a song I know. Sunflower, I imagine. It's not sunflower, it's sun shower. Oh, gross. Yeah, yeah the guy with the... the Don't sun- remind me now of the time I'm banging you. <laughs> um, it's three in the afternoon. You need to get up and go to work. Don't remind me now of the time. I'm in a, about to give you a sun shower. <laughs> it makes me hurt so bad. It leaves Jim Webb collages all over my pillow. <laughs> a sort of love token. Well, moving on. Hey, the Mystic Moods! But not the Mystic Moods Orchestra, just the Mystic Moods. I think I need to go stick my penis in an orchid. Pretty sure that's what's going on. I don't know what that cover is. It looks to me like we're looking at a extreme close-up of a magic healing crystal. I don't know what that is. I'm going to go ahead and say it's an orchid, but I could be wrong. You think that's a flower? I think that is actually a flower. I mean, it, I know what they're trying to make me think of with that picture, but I'm going to go ahead and say that in real time, that's a flower. And you notice that I didn't say, hey, I have a, I have that exact same cover at home, but without the big giant rip on the front. <laughs> this is this strikes me as another one of those records that I probably bought entirely for its cover and no other reason. Let's move on to... Um, an Afternoon Affair. An Afternoon Affair. With Veryl Keane. Now, we've joked earlier that this is two lesbian women, while one gay guy sort of provides them clothes. <laughs> And that may be true. On the back of this record, he is sitting there with his axe, which is to say, the clarinet. He's the hardest working clarinetist in whatever this is. And he's got one of those shirts that not, like, not only was like paisley and polyester, but had a built-in tie. Like, a tie comes with the collar. It's mm. like hardwired into the collar. And yes, if anyone looks like they are not about to take part in what's going to happen in that room, that would be Mr. Keen. Not with that mustache. Yeah. Our final album... Oh, for God's week. sakes. Yes, like uh, the, the big finish, the happy ending, if you will. Uh-huh. Let my people come. This one's for the kids. Yeah, that one's on camera. And the old folks. <laughs> right. And, and who's ever in between listening. And embryos. This is an amazing album. It is not very good, but it is an amazing album and a document of its time and then some. It looks terrible. No, oh, it is. The song Come In My Mouth ends off with one of the most disgusting sound effects I've ever heard recorded on vinyl. And uh, yeah, the cunnilingus champ of Company C and I'm Gay, which is performed by Veryl Keen? By Veryl Keen uh, shortly after his afternoon affair. Which is just him providing clothes for two lesbians rolling around <laughs> naked on a bed. Yeah, the two guys that performed this, the uh, imaginatively titled I Am Gay on this, I believe, 1973 album is uh, the one guy who's wearing nothing but overalls there. Yeah, looks great. And the other guy with the kind of reddish Jufro who can't shut his f- mouth. I have an intense question for the hmm. panel. Yes. My question is, when they were performing this, do you think that any of the cast members post-show ever uh, got it on? What do you want to bet they all put on their trench coats and just walked home? I'm waiting for the remake. Let's conclude with a yellow. Yellow. 